Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro channel. In this episode, we're taking a look at the Tamiya Terrell P34 F1 six-wheeler. Now, the original Terrell P34 came out in 1977. It was kit number 58003. The RC's chassis was based on an extended version of the Porsche 934's chassis, so this way there was additional room for the extra set of tires in the front. The RC was based on an actual Terrell F1 six-wheeler, which was produced in 1975. They started to race it in 1976, and by 1978, they stopped it and basically moved on. Other Formula One teams, including Ferrari, would go on to experiment with six-wheelers, but by the early 1980s, six-wheelers were banned, and the max amount of wheels you can use was four. Now, Tamiya has gone on to re-releasing this kit numerous times, but on a different chassis. It's based on the F103 chassis. And if you're interested in seeing how many times this has been re-released, you can go over to TamiyaBase.com, and you can see all the different release dates that this kit was put out. Now the one that you see here is their most recent re-release from July of 2022. It's the version that raced in the 1977 Argentine Grand Prix. However, it's obviously not done in box art. Now the body on here is ABS plastic and already comes molded in the box art blue and white. But the great thing about this hobby is that you could do whatever you want and that's exactly what Fix It Phil did because he went with the Marlboro livery on here because he likes to be a little different. And I think that's totally cool because I think this is awesome looking. In addition to the ABS plastic body, you get FRP plates, friction dampers, sponge tires all around. I believe, and I thought it came with a sport tune motor, but there is a torque tune motor in here and your spur gear has a built-in ball diff. So this RC is more of a novelty RC. Fun to build, cool to look at, but I wouldn't say to be used competitively in RC racing. Regardless, we got it out on the Fender Bender Speedway 2.0 for some action, and I just want to thank Fix It Phil for allowing me to film it and throw it up on our channel. So I appreciate that, Phil. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to leave you all with some action footage of this, and I just want to thank you all for your support. This is a short video, but I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you all in my next. Take care now.
I know, you probably thought the video was over, but not quite. Because this video was on the shorter side, I decided to use some time at the end to share with all of you what you could expect to see coming up on the RC Retro channel now that the weather's getting nicer outside. So the Super Cloud Buster Gray Edition got this a few months back. Gonna put out a whole build video and run video on this. Sponsored build, thank you Euro RC of the Tamiya Konghead 6x6. Got it together, waiting for the custom painted body to arrive shortly, should be here any day. The Horobo Alien Mid in a prior episode, getting this ready for the track, got it all fitted with electronics, cleaned it up, did the body on here, box art, and we're gonna get that nice and dirty as well. Also, the Pro Cat, <sighs> really regret selling my Masami Cat XLS, never even got a chance to run it, so I couldn't pass this one up. So we're gonna build this Pro Cat. I'm gonna put a lot of pictures of the build on my Instagram page, so if you wanna follow me there, you can, RC underscore retro, right on Instagram. And I'm gonna get a custom body painted up for this as well. And then, of course, a huge shout out to Keith from RC Icons, who gifted me this Kyosho Ferrari Testarossa a ways back. Finally gonna put out my build video on it, do some body work on there as well. And of course, there'll be a follow-up video to that with it running. So a lot of great things. These are not the only projects going on on the RC Retro channel. There's tons more, a lot of great things coming your way. But most of all, what many of you have been asking for, and that is racing. We're gonna be holding our first race of the season. We're kicking it off with an on-road race. It's gonna be a huge spectacle. It's not just the usual guys that you're used to seeing here on the channel, like Fix It Phil, or The Uncle, or even myself. There's going to be about 10 to 20 guys showing up at the Fender Bender Speedway 2.0 to do some on-road racing. <laughs> we even got a food truck coming. Check that out. All right, so a lot of great things coming your way on the RC Retro channel, okay? So, as always, thank you for your support, and I'll see you guys in one of my upcoming videos. Let's go!